Hello, this is Brian Moore with the Tivoli Common Reporting Enablement Team. This video clip will explain how to use the Install Shield installer to install the ITM OS Agents TCR reports. These reports will only run using TCR version 1.3. You need to install the reports on a machine that already has TCR 1.3 or IBM Cognos 8 BI reporting installed. The installer will optionally install the data source connection information in TCR. TCR must have a data connection entry for each database that it connects to. For these reports, this data source connection entry can be entered manually or you can have the install shield installer help you. If it is done manually, the entry must be named TDW as that is the name of the database connection that the OS agents reports will look for. Before we start, I'd like to show you where in TCR that these data source connection entries are made. We'll also check and verify the connection after the installer runs so that we know that we have a valid working database connection. If you bring up the common reporting main screen in your TIP portal, it should look something like this screen. If you click on the launch and then IBM Cognos Administration, and then the Configuration tab. Uh, the screen should look something like this. If you want to configure your data source connection manually, you can click on this new data source icon. Um, we'll, we'll come to, back to this page in a few minutes to verify that our connection was created by the installer and that we're able to complete a successful test connection. From this page, you can click this return arrow here to go back to the main TCR page. This is what the installation image files look like. You can install directly from a DVD image, but I've copied the files onto the local file system so the installer will run a bit faster. The DB scripts directory contains database scripts that need to be run to set up your time dimension and resource dimension in your database. This must be done before the reports will run. Please consult with your documentation for details on that. To start the installer, there's a setup.bat for Windows and a setup.sh for Linux. If you know your TIP installation directory and it's not the default, you could give that value as a command line parameter for the setup scripts, though you'll have the option of viewing and or changing that value inside the GUI either way. I installed TIP to its default location, so I'm going to run setup without any command line parameters. The first screen reminds you that you must have already installed TCR 1.3 or IBM Cognos 8 BI reporting. I've already installed TCR 1.3, so I'm going to click Next. Here you would select IBM Tivoli Monitoring OS Agents. Click the right arrow. Click Next. And if you are installing on top of IBM Cognos 8 BI reporting, it tells you that there's a file that you need to copy over from a TCR 1.3 installation. We're going to ignore that. Our installation type is on top of TCR 1.3. The directory name where TCR is installed is the default value that it took. For Cognos namespace and Cognos dispatcher URL, you wouldn't need to change those values unless when you installed Cognos, you changed those from their defaults. For Cognos username and Cognos password, I'm going to put the tip portal username and password. Click Next. This next screen allows us to set up the data connection. 
and if we wanted to set that up manually we would check the box here to skip. I'm going to go ahead and have the installer set up the data connection and our data source type is DB2 and let's put the database name, the username and password and click next. It'll give me a summary of what it's going to do. Let's click install and it will run for 30 or 40 seconds or so. Once we get to the summary screen, we should check it for errors. We have a successful past, past, past. So we can go ahead and click finish. Now that the installer is completed, let's go back into TCR and check a couple things to make sure everything installed correctly. Under the public folders, we should now see IBM Tivoli Monitoring OS Agents Reports. If we click on that, we should see five reports in there. Let's go back into Cognos Administration and check our data connection under the Configuration tab. Uh, we do now see this TDW entry. Let's click on it. And if we click this test connection icon under the actions column and click the test button, We get us succeeded, and we're done. Thank you.